Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these awesome DIY acoustic sound panels. So let's get started. First thing you need to do is go to moviemania.io. Here they have thousands of images of different movies and TV shows. Download the ones that you want. And then we're going to edit what we downloaded to the size of panels that we want to use. And we're going to upload the image to this website, myfabricdesigns.com. Once you get these uploaded to the website, it takes about three weeks. They will print them on some fabric and send them out to you. Also went to my local Home Depot and got some 1x4 popular boards. And I'm not a handyman at all, so I had them cut it down to the size. I'm making my panels 24 by 36. Here you see we have our wood already cut. We have a corner square and some corner brackets, some wood screws, and some wood glue. Gonna get everything put together here and we're gonna add a little wood glue just to get that extra tight surface make sure everything is squared up and like I said I'm not a handyman so the fact that I was able to do this means that anybody can do this we're gonna drill some pilot holes and put our screws in. And this is our finished frame. After you finish your frame, you wanna sand down the inside edges to give it that round edge so when you put the poster on, you won't be able to see that squared edge. Back inside the house, we got some wrinkle release that we're gonna spray on our fabric to get all the wrinkles out. They will be a little wrinkled when they come. You may have to do this a couple days in advance, as I did. And we're gonna get these lined up on the frame. I'm using these binder clips, which really came in handy as far as getting everything lined up before you staple. And here you can see I'm pulling the fabric tight and stapling, pulling tight and stapling. Lots of staples. Did this all the way around. Once I got the first side done, the, other, the opposite side I pulled, was able to pull even tighter. And on the corners, you just make a nice little fold. I made sure the corners are at the bottom and the top of the frame so they won't be visible. Here I'm just cutting off the extra fabric. And this is the finished product. Front. And around to the back. I got some French cleats off of Amazon and I'm going to use these to hang my panels. Just measuring the middle here, I'm making sure that I hammer down any staples so I can get a flat surface. Now sometimes you may have to remove staple as you see me doing here if you're going to have too big of a space in between the staples that you're removing just add another one and the 
as simple as that. Now off of Amazon, I went and ordered some rock wool. These are from ATS Acoustics. And this is what they look like. They're sound absorbing rock wool boards. Here I'm measuring it out to the size of my panels. And you want it to be just slightly bigger because you want it to fit tightly into the frame. And there we go. Let's get this into the frame. Like I said, you want it to be a snug fit. So that is just right, just like that. I went to my local Michaels and got some cheap fabric. And we're gonna use this fabric to close up the back. Don't need anything fancy. And we're just gonna staple this on the back. You don't need a whole lot of staples like you did for the fab for the stretching the fabric. Just enough to hold cover the back. And we're trimming this excess fabric off. And this is the finished product. Sound absorbing acoustic panels. I made a total of eight of these. Cost me about $45 per panel. got that area you're looking to have some sound absorbing acoustic panels and you don't want just a plain old black or plain fabric panel this is an excellent way to incorporate some movie posters into your acoustic panels I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you give it a try drop a like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time